Soyez le bienvenu pour un autre épisode vidéo de Max Whiskey Ramblings. That doesn't really sound well, does it? And now why am I welcoming you to another one of my ramblings in French? Because as you can see, we are in Paris, the capital of France. I'm here to celebrate my daughter's 18th birthday. This trip to Paris is a bit of a gift to my daughter. But, good of a heart that she is, she allowed me 15 minutes out of this precious weekend to film this beautiful whiskey rambling and today I would like to talk to you about Compass Box Whiskey. Now Compass Box is a, a London based company run by John Glazer. He's a blender and a bottler but he calls himself rightfully so a whiskey maker. Now I prefer to think of him as something of a whiskey artist for he has created quite a few interesting and some damn good whiskies indeed and we will be trying this one. This Compass Box uh, is the uh, the Compass Box Eleuthera and this is special because the Eleuthera was his very first fatted malt which appeared for the first time in 2002. Now Compass Box chose the name Eleuthera uh, because it means freedom in Greek and it is also an island in the Bahamas so maybe he chose it because it is one of his, his favorite holiday spots who knows but well, I presume it has to do with the fact that uh, it means freedom in Greek because he does enjoy uh, freedom, Mr. Glazer, in crafting these artisanal whiskies. Anyway, so the Eleuthera is a fatted malt, but today, as you know, we are obliged to call that a blended malt, meaning that it is a blend of single malts. No grain whiskey has gone in here. This is merely a combination of single malts. Now, I've been told in the, uh, well, through the grapevine, I've heard that in this case, this is comprised of a um, a 15-year-old Klein Leash and a 12-year-old Kalia. Right. So, tasting notes. It is bottled at 46% ABV and it has this beautiful straw to a light sunlight color on the nose. Well, it's in immediately a salty and peaty on the nose. So Kalila really tells us that it rules this bottle. I get some smoked ham, some paprika, before the fruit, which is mostly citrus, kicks in. Some clear hints of uh, vanilla and honey, which turns this nose rather sweet. I also get some hay and some other floral elements. Well, this is quite nice, but it's nothing too fancy, to be honest. On the palate, then. Mm. Mm. Again, peaty, a bit muddy even, but it clearly has this, this backbone of citrus. I get some tangerine, some orange peel, honey as well. And then some tannins from the oak kicking, offering in some, some pepper as well. And it even has a nice salty edge. I presume that again, that's from the Kalida. The finish then. Mm. The finish is medium long, spicy and salty. And at the death, I even get some nuttiness. Well, John Glazer wanted to create a peaty whiskey, but an easy drinking one without that peat in your face that you would get from a typical Isla uh, single malt. Of course it contains Isla single malt, the Kalila, but it is softened up just a bit and a bit fruitiness kicks in thanks to the uh, Klein Leash that goes into the mix. I have to say it does not make it a grand whiskey, but it is fair. Well, it's more than fair, but just not grand. Due to lack of the malts needed, this, is, this expression, the Eleuthera, was discontinued in 2005 but if you look around, you may still be able to find a bottle left and right sitting on a shelf somewhere. Maybe I'll even find one here in Paris at the uh, La Maison de Whisky, which I will visit later today. Anyway, that's all for this Whisky Rambling, the Compass Box Eleuthera, and I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whisky Ramblings real soon. And until then, 
Au revoir. Bye bye. Thank you.